Hey everybody, if you're wondering why I haven't done any videos, it's because I've been feeling like shit for the past couple of days. So, that's why I haven't done any videos in a while. I'm not going to do videos uh, later today, and Saturday, uh, and Sunday, and Monday. But I thought I'd do some videos. Or I'd do this video where I do some poems. Uh, you can see actual poems. I'm not just pulling these out of my ass. Uh, here's another poem. Here's a poem that I did a while ago. On that faithful day you walked, you'd thinking she would come back, but as you watched in horror as your honey died, you fought with her over some money. Now you lost your honey. You thought you would get back together, but that was not so. She didn't know how sorry you were. Now the image burns your brain under the strain of stress as you try your best to hold back tears as you start to drink beers. The sons of spectators cheers and gasps of horror. Now I bet you regret arguing with her. You lost your honey over some stupid money. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Carlos Mencia talking about how life, how precious life is, and don't don't fret over trivial trivial stuff. And uh, that's how I came up with that poem. <clears throat> I think I'll do another one. Uh, this one I just did out off the top of my ass. Because um, I fell really down at the point when I wrote this poem. So take that into consideration. It's called Fleeting. <clears throat> it's called Fleeting. My sanity is fleeting. I feel like I am bleeding inside. What? My fantasy world is fleeting, diminishing around me. Our world is crashing, bashing around my mind. No one is kind. I feel like I am blind. The light is shining, blinding. My mind is b burning and breaking apart. It is fleeting, diminishing, feeling, conscious failing, mind bailing, consciousness going, anger rising, sparking my mind and becoming ablaze, my mind becoming amazed. Confusing myself, spiraling down, crashing and burning, luring me out into the open. My mainframe gone, no eyes open, starting over, blank expressions, restart, reboot, no luck, no luck. Uh, again, taking into consideration, I was at a very dark time in my life when I wrote that. So I'm not like that anymore. Um... Oh, I actually had a pen name I came up with when I was doing these things. Um, I came up with it when I was uh, back in high school. And I took Latin for four years. In my high school, I took four years of Latin. And we get to pick a Latin name in our second year. Um, I was thinking about all these creative names. But I always had this weird fascination with um, death and destruction and things like that. Um, and I was really in, like, I was into history and the Black Plague. And and I came up with the name Ates Moors, A T E S M O R S, which translates to the Black Death, which is what the bubonic plague was called. So that's what I, I I use that as a pen name for a little bit. Uh, I don't use that anymore. I use resonators in it as a pen name because obviously eight decimals is a lot more imposing. Um, I also did another poem. Um, it's I wrote it um, about the same time as uh, it was right after 9/11, because um, we had to write a poem for school in my middle school, and it was like it was sometime after 9/11, but still everybody was talking about it and talking about it. So I came up with this poem. It was uh, called The Phoenix Flies. Um, so yeah, keep in mind that this was written a couple years after 9-11. I don't exactly remember how long ago it was, but it was during middle school. 
so maybe 14, 6 years ago, give or take. So the Phoenix flies. As an airplane engine roars, the Phoenix soars. As the airplane falls, someone calls for the Phoenix. The plane swoops as the Phoenix calls. As the plane crashes, the uh, Phoenix turns to ashes. But just as you think it is through, you hear the Phoenix coo. That means that it revives so the people won't have to say goodbye. They breathe a sigh of relief so no one has to go through grief. And again, that, w that was a while ago. That was like years ago. Um, so those are three more poems I did that are older. Uh, Honey, the first poem I did, and then Fleeting, which was a really dark poem, and then Phoenix Flies, which was, a, I guess, my way of dealing with 9-11, even though I wasn't personally involved in it. I feel that, I felt that I had it, because we had to do a poem, and that was really fresh in my mind during that time. So I was like, oh, boom, I'll do a poem about that. So I did, and it and originally it was shorter than that. I think I added on the last few lines. Um, I think I added like the whole nobody has to go through grief because I think the teacher said that the the way it was was way too dark. So I had to add that on, so it was hell happy at the end, really. So, yeah, um, most of my poems are darker and most of my stories are darker so if you ever read anything I write or any poems I do be wary <laughs> um yeah so those are three more poems uh, I haven't written any more poems but I'll get on that um yeah I don't know how to end this so I'll just say Resonator Zen loves all of my subscribers in a totally non-gay way, um, in a totally platonic way. But um, yeah, all right. Peace out, guys.